Corporations use non-competition covenants to prevent employees from working at rival companies. But can a non-competition covenant be so broad that it can't be enforced? The court in White v. Fletcher Mayo Associates answered this question when an employee challenged a non-competition covenant after a merger. In 1973, Eldridge White began working at Fletcher Mayo Associates, or FMA, a marketing and advertising company. Five years later, White was promoted to corporate vice president and was transferred to FMA's Atlanta office. In 1981, White was promoted again to senior vice president at FMA. Through a combination of bonuses and personal purchases, White owned over 7,000 shares of FMA's common stock. White's shares amounted to over 4.6% of all FMA's shares. As a result, White was the fifth largest shareholder at the company. In 1982, Doyle Dane, an advertising company, bought FMA. White didn't have any control over the merger and never participated in negotiations. During the merger process, shareholders that voted in favor of the merger received Doyle Dane Common stock at a rate of over 1.29 per share of FMA stock. White voted in favor of the merger and received the Doyle Dane shares, which increased White's stock value by about $60,000. Doyle Dane conditioned the merger on White signing an agreement with a non-competition covenant. White was told that as a key employee, he needed to sign the agreement to guarantee his job. Except for three other employees who were top shareholders, no other employee at FMA had to sign a covenant. Shortly after the merger, White was fired. White filed a lawsuit against FMA to determine if the non-competition covenant was enforceable. The trial court held that FMA's non-competition covenant was too broad, but held that the covenant was ancillary to the merger. As a result, the court blue-penciled the covenant and ruled that the modified covenant was enforceable. Blue penciling is a process where courts can edit and limit the scope of a covenant. White appealed to the Georgia Supreme Court.